Well, welcome back to the Fox 9 Town Ball Tour. We're in Delo Delano tonight. This is stop number three on our summer tour of ballparks, town ball bar ballparks across the state of Minnesota. And man, we've got the Delano Athletics taking on the Loretto Larks later on tonight. What a beautiful scene from the drone here as the crowd is already here because there's a game before first pitch a little after 7 o'clock. So the excitement, we can already feel we it. We got three games going on tonight. Yeah. So we just had a high school game and then school. coming up a little bit later on, we've got some T ball. <laughs> got to have some T ball. It's going to be awesomely wonderful. And we got the community out here. Yeah. We got the, the flames are this high on the grill already. So <laughs> come out, have some food. You know it's going to be a game. good time. Yeah. Jim Rich, he is standing by. He's going to talk to us about. Someone he talked with who has a very special story that he wants to share with us. Jim, good evening. Hey, Don, and uh, this is a very special story. You know, kids come here and they look at this as a chance to dream and to build themselves a life through sports. And there are players that have come through this program and have had great success. And one of those players was Nate Triplett. He had a tremendous high school career, college career, and even professional career. And he was a winner in all those. But now he is facing a battle that he says he cannot afford to lose. We went in not thinking anything other than we were going to leave and come home and have dinner that night and possibly go to church. But... When we got the news, I mean, we were we were shocked and devastated and full of so many different emotions. And to me, it felt like a nightmare that I wasn't going to wake up from. It was a punch in the gut. Yeah. Um, and you go to the go to the doctor when your arms feeling sore, and a couple hours later, you have cancer and your life is changed forever. Nate Triplett was the hero of his hometown growing up. Whether it was baseball or football, he became larger than life when he became a star under Glenn Mason at the University of Minnesota, and then being drafted by the Vikings and dabbling in the National Football League. Because of that success, he's now leaning on that experience, helping him going through a battle for his life. Sports is unique in that aspect. There's um, and, and the farther you go, and professionally and, and, and in college, winning is the only option. And if you don't win, if you lose, then it's um, you're, you're figuring out how to win the next week. Uh, there is there's not really a, a losing option. So uh, I've, I've kind of carried that into this. I've never really thought of it, thought of losing. It's just what do we need to do to beat this thing. Tonight, the town that cheered for him all those years will be supporting him in his newest fight. And usually it was Nate coming through for them, but tonight they are here for him. Yeah, I was I was always the guy that wanted to be up up at bat if we were, you know, I was the last out. I wanted that challenge. I wanted I wanted to be the guy that people look up to. I was always thinking of the community and what they thought of me. Yeah, it's pretty remarkable, the story, but here's the most remarkable part about this. Tonight, they'll be passing the hat here throughout the crowd all night long. There are two players, not only is Nate dealing with a diagnosis of cancer that he got in February, also Toddy Train also got the news that he had cancer in February. So tonight, they're planning on a way to strike out cancer here at the ballpark and they'll be raising money to help their families throughout so really you talk about the community and what the teams and the sports mean to these players well Don and Tim this is what the community can do for these players after they've been stars here so it's a pretty cool story and Nate will be joining us later tonight and I think Toddy is going to be stopping by the ballpark so we wish them nothing but the best